Right guys, now it's time for the final part of the creation part of the tutorial, which is to create the front part of the car. Okay, so this is going to be a bit done a bit differently to the other parts we just created. If I just go into the part which it's already created, we can see how it's... Right, if I just scroll back up here... Hang on, oops, if I go back, right. So first off... This part's created. How's that created? It's created by extruding a sketch, as we can see, like so. So that's just pretty simple. So this is extruded out, and then we'll add the other parts afterwards. So shell it, and then on the bottom, once the shell's been added, we've got our two parts here. Okay. Right. So now it's time to go in. So I just click yes there, and now I'll go file as before, new, and we want to create another part again. Okay. Right. First off, before, remember, we were creating in the top plane, but no, this time I want to create in the right plane. So if I go right click and sketch in the right plane, because if you can imagine if we're looking at it, that, that extrude that I showed you before. If you're looking at the object, you can imagine that would be extruded out from the right side. So remember that. Right, and I'll spice space bar and I'll go normal two, and that'll bring my right plane in normal two. Okay. So we want to first off go up to the line tool this time, which we'll be using, and we want to create a rough sketch of what the part will look like. So I'll go there, 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 and there. See all these little things here? These are what are called relations, which will be explained more depth in the later tutorials. But basically all that's mean is that line is horizontal there, that line is vertical, that line is horizontal. You can add these by clicking on the line, and in relations you can add horizontal and vertical. That's just a brief overview. I don't want you to get too confused just yet. Okay, so here we go. Right, first off, let's just... I'm going to use the... Uh, I'm going to go back into bricks just so I've got the dimensions we can have a look at the dimensions again and exit out of that right click here edit sketch okay so it's 10 24 2 and 8 okay so oh we're forgetting something though what we haven't done is save the part so I've done that, okay, I'm going to show you how we can exit out of that before we, I'll go file, save, go and find my folder on the desktop, front brick, and we go save, okay, right, I need to get back into this sketch again because I exited it out of it, so I can right click, and I can just go edit sketch, and that will bring us right back in. So, we've got to add our dimensions now. So remember 10, 24, oops, it's messed up. I'll just add this one as well. 10, 24. Now, what we can do, I want to click normal two. Right, if I escape out of that, I can just drag these points up so that they're Think that point down here was two. Now we won't have to worry about this angle because what these lines adding dimension to these lines will do is it will give us okay. There we go. Now there's our object. So we've added dimension to this. Remember, if we get something wrong, we can just double click on it and go back into it. Okay, so we've got that. Now we can exit out the sketch and like before, select that. Go into features, extrude, and we want to extrude that by 16. And green tick. Okay, so there's the first part of our brick created. Second part we'll add again up on here. We'll add our uh, two circles so. Go to extrude that, so I'll right click on here, sketch, space bar, normal two, and I'll add a circle again. So 
there, there. Remember, I had dimension to that, which is four. Should be becoming a bit more fluent at this now, guys, so I'm not gonna bore you every time. So again, we'll click there, and that's four again. And select the center of the circle again. And that there is four. Right. Okay, that's that done. Now again, we use the center line tool to create a center line. Remember, hover over the line to get the center point up. And again, that should just appear. We've got our center line, so then we can just mirror in like so. And there we go. So our two circles are ready to just be extruded now. Uh, remember, I can spin the object by holding down on the center mouse button as well, guys. And zoom in and out by uh, reading it up and down. So I've exit out of that. Feature, extrude, two melt, and green tick. So they're extruded now. Right, okay. What's next? We next need to shell the object. So again, go to shell. Uh, one millimeter for the depth. Show previews ticked. And we want there to be open. So remember, that wasn't selected. Look, guys, it wouldn't be open. So remember, just want that open. So it's nice. Green tick in there. Right. That's all good now. Okay, right now we're ready to add our final part to this brick. So we want to use the uh, middle mouse button to just turn the brick around, get inside there, right click and add a sketch in there. Okay, actually, no, sorry, my bad. We are creating a sketch on this line here. So it's the same as the, if you go to top plane, right click sketch or we can just what we can do is select this here right click and sketch so I right click and normal to now now I want to create a circle here first off there oops sorry now I want to create a center line first that goes all the way down through the middle just so we can get the uh, circle dead on the center and then select along that center line of the circle now we can add dimensions to it so And then there, from there to there. No, that's seven. I think that's seven. Six. So we add six there. Okay, green tick that. Now we want to offset by one mil. So offset one click reverse direction green tick now we can just go center line halfway down create another center line halfway down and mirror what we've just created there so there okay so that's that and now now we created that mirror Exit out of that sketch, feature, extrude. Right, as opposed to blind this time and putting a distance in, what we can do is use the off the, the, the object as what we want to go up to. So what I can select down here is up to next. And see, that will all that'll do is extrude up to the next surface basically, which is really handy for us. So select up to next rather than as opposed to blind up to next, and make sure that it's round the right way. Otherwise, you won't be able to select up to next. So we want it to go that way and up to next, and green tick. And there we go. There's our 
block created. Last one, last thing to do. Right click, go across here to appearance. Right click, add appearance part, file, save. And that's our front brick ready. Now Right guys, now that all the parts have been created, um, it's time to bring all of the parts together and we need to assemble them using the assembly in tools. Um, we do this by using something called mates, which basically means we can select edges and line them up and circles and, and so on. But you'll see, you'll see this will make more sense in a minute when um, I actually start to show you. So here we can see all our different components have been brought in to assembly and then we've got to align them up. So, right, we'll close that down. Right, now it's time to go file, and then we must create a new assembly. So file, new, and assembly, okay. Right, so file, first we go up here, and we go file, save as, and we'll call this, go into our uh, desktop and find our Solberg's car, and call this toy car solid work toy car right as you can see there's uh you're wondering where are the other files this is because it's a different file type it's an assembly file type it's not a part file type so they won't show up when we're saving the assembly okay so we'll save that now right there's one thing you need to do, so you need to download the files associated with this tutorial from uh, online. And then we go to SolidWorks Parts of Car, and they should be in there. So we want to copy this file, so drag it into our SolidWorks Car file, okay? So all the files are in the same place. Okay, so I'll just drag that in, like so. I'm just going to explain a little bit about the uh, part files as well so if I drag this across so, oops. right so if I go into parts for car we'll notice that they're split into different folders there's a reason behind this so in the wheel this this isn't actually another assembly so we've got all the different part types and then they're being brought together as one in a wheel assembly um, it's important that you always keep the files in the same place because otherwise if SOLIDWORKS goes to open something and you've moved it then it won't be able to find it so it's really important you keep it in files and keep it all neated in the same place very first uh, very important thing to remember okay so we put them now into our uh, into our SOLIDWORKS car file and we've saved our assembly now we're ready to bring all our parts in what I tend to do, um, if I go to insert component here at the moment, we, c we can only see the parts that are open in uh, SolidWorks. So if we can see, if I minimize this, you'll see all these parts are available basically to us. So the best thing to do before we actually start to create assembly is open up all the parts we need. So we've got our front brick, start off with, and then I'm going to open front brick, floor brick, open, we need that. We go file insert. Oops, sorry, did the wrong button. File. Get out of that. I'll close that one down for now because we don't need that. All right. Okay. So we've got front brick, floor brick. File open. Back brick. And then we need to open the other parts we need. So file open, and we go into the file we put in there. So the wheel chassis first open. This is a part that goes on the bottom, and the wheels will connect to each one of those regions. And then we go file open. I've created these parts earlier because otherwise <laughs> the tutorial will take too long. So we're going to wheel. Right in wheel, we don't need these two parts because, as I say, these have already been. Um, assembled as an assembly all we need is the wheel part so if I click open 